Hi everyone, in front of me I have the Xiaomi 12 Pro smartphone and uh, in this video I would like to show the best display settings to change. Uh, so let's go ahead and go for the settings here, choose the display category and uh, as usual we are greeted with um, an opportunity to set the dark mode which will be, look like this or like this. And we can also set some schedule for the dark mode, either choose uh, the sunset to sunrise option or set some custom schedule. There are also uh, some more dark mode options, which you can uh, configure to your liking. As you can see, uh, you can uh, manage the dark mode for some particular apps in here. So what we have next is the brightness level, which you can either ad adjust manually by moving this bar left and right, or set up an automatic brightness, which will uh, automatically regulate the brightness of your display uh, accordingly to the ambient lighting that you have around you. And there is also the sunlight mode, uh, which adapts the brightness to the very strong sunlight. Next option we have is reading mode, uh, which basically makes the everything look look like this, which uh, allows to prevent some eye fatigue, some eye high eye fatigue level once you are having uh, long reading sessions. Next we have the color scheme, which we can change either uh, by choosing the presets that we already have on this device. Or we can turn on the adaptive colors option, which allows the colors to adapt to the lighting that we have around us. Or we can also choose the color temperature either from default warm, cool to custom. And then custom, we can just uh, regulate the color scheme by moving uh, this circle on this color palette. I'll just go ahead and set this as vivid and leave the color temperature at default. Next, we have display resolution. We have two options to choose from. It's either FHD plus or WQHD plus. Uh, the first one grants us the resolution of 2400 to uh, 1080 and saves us battery. And the other one grants us resolution of 3200 to 1440 and adds some clarity. And there is also an option which allows us to uh, switch the switch between these two resolutions once we are running out of battery. So next we have the refresh rate option, which allows us either to set it up to auto, so uh, the phone will decide what uh, refresh rate is to be chosen. Uh, either once the phone is uh, fully charged, it will go for the higher refresh rate, or once we are running out of battery life, it will uh, gradually lower the screen refresh rate down. Uh, or you can just go ahead and choose among three uh, available options customly, manually. So we have 60 Hertz, 90 Hertz and 120 Hertz. I'll just state 120 because I like things to be very smooth and pretty. Next, we have AI image engine, uh, which basically just an artificial intelligence uh, image images uh, enhancement option. So if you want to enhance the image quality, you can just go ahead and play around with this setting yourself. Uh, we also have a pretty standard uh, text size option, which allows us to increase the size of text we have uh, on our display. And there is uh, an entire section dedicated to the VR experience, uh, even though there is pretty much only one option to choose. But, you know, it's, not, not, it's still nice to have it. And it's an option which uh, allows us to auto-rotate the screen once we need the display of our device to go alongside with uh, us rotating the phone physically. Let me open some app that supports this function. For example, Play Store. As you can see, the display has been rotated to horizontal mode and back to the portrait mode. Once I rotated phone back to its vertical position, I'll go ahead and disable this function since I don't think I need it. In the control panel, let me show you how it, how does it look like. Yeah, unfortunately, I do not have it set up here, so I'll just uh, disable it from the settings directly. So that was it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and bye-bye.